Hey, what's going on, Aries? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Um, I get a lot of questions about the you know, people asking about the, your your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus sign. Um, if you have any questions, check out uh, Natal Chart Calculator, N-A-T-A-L. Uh, just Google it. I believe most ones I've ever seen were free. You just put in your information and it gives you a little bit more in-depth into your houses, um, including your your moon sign, your rising sign, and your Venus sign. Um, and also, if you have that, you know, information on a certain someone that you, you know, may have feelings for, or, and you want to see how they express certain things, uh, your Venus will show you how um, people are, you know, when it comes to love, which would probably be more... Um, something that you're interested in if you're looking at a love read. Um, it, it, it just helps, you know, and, and to be honest, the first time I did it, it kind of blew my mind. So put your helmet on. <laughs> anyway, with all that being said, I am going to be using the Wild and Unknown. Now, this deck, when I first started doing tarot, I could not use this deck. I tried. But it finally warmed up to me. But it was actually the first deck I ever tried using, so it was, it's more of an advanced deck. So, with all that being said, let's get it. Universe, what is going on for Aries? Aries. So the first thing I see is I feel like there is someone. Now this could be someone that is fairly new or is coming in because it's definitely some new energy. You know, you may have just met this person or you're going to meet them. But the first thing I notice with this person, it, it, I feel like first things first, I mean, we got the, the son of wands. Uh, which is that Knight of Wands, that uh, Sagittarius energy. You know, and I feel like with this, I feel like there's a lot of flirtatious, you know, passionate pull that you have toward this person. I, you know, I, I feel like that's how it starts. And it's like, you know, basically I feel like there's, there's definitely, a, the chemistry is definitely there from the very beginning, you know, but it's also very impulsive. You know, it's almost like they, you, you just can't help but think about them in that physical form. You know, and, and I mean, this is, this could be, it go either way, but I mean, I feel like this is how it begins. You know, and I, and I feel like there is a little bit of flirtatious energy back and forth. You know, I feel like, you know, you, I mean, I, we have the Daughter of Wands, which is that, that Page of Wands, 
Then we have the high priestess. So, I mean, it's almost like something's telling you that there's a lot of potential here. And I feel like this person, what you don't know, you know, and I, like, that's the thing. I feel like what you don't know is the most exciting thing about this person. You know, what you see is obviously exciting, but what you don't know, your, you know, your intuition is telling you there's something much deeper at play here. You know, the, I mean, with that, with that page of wands or the daughter of wands, um, there's a lot of potential here. And I feel like that's very clear from the very beginning. And it causes you to think about this person a lot. You know, feeling like this is what you've been waiting for. Now, like I said, with that, I feel there's a part of you that is going to hold back because I... I mean, I, I feel like you're picking up this defensive energy from this person, almost like that's not what they're looking for. Or like they're, it's not like they're trying to hold back from you. And usually when we have somebody holding back from us, it's because they're not interested, you know, but like I said, this is someone you, you, you can see yourself being with, you know, this is someone you, you feel drawn to. Um, but then they have that, like I said, that defensive energy with that nine of wands. So it's kind of like sending a little bit of a mixed message. Not really sure what to think of this. Now, with this person, you know, like I said, this is, it feels like what you've been waiting for. I mean, we have the three, the three of wands. That ship has finally come in, you know, feeling like this is the person and almost to the, very early on, I, you know, we, we feel like this is new love, like this could be something special. But with that defensive energy, it's kind of giving us the wrong message. We're not really seeing what's right there in front of us. You know, we're not getting the whole picture. Like, why is this person not showing interest back? Now, the reason that is, how this person feels about you, they are hiding it from you. You know, we have that, you know, seven of swords. You know, we have that fox. He looks like he's sleeping, but he's got that one eye open. You know what I mean? Like, this person is hiding how they feel about you. And the reason why they're hiding it is because I feel like... I mean, this person wants to reach out and grab you and hold on. And not let go. They're feeling pulled to you. But, in the same sense, that scares the shit out of them. Because I feel like this person is not sure that that's that you want the same things, that you're on the same page. You know, I mean, with this person, I see this person is looking for that forever person. They're looking for someone to share their life with. They're looking for someone to have a, a meaningful connection with. You know, we get that family card, we get that father of cups. I feel like this person is emotionally mature. They know what they're looking for. They don't want just a great sex life. They want someone that they can actually share a deep connection with. They want someone that they can share, you know, it, it's not about the hot nights. It's not all about the hot nights. It's about the cool mornings. You know, this is not someone that just wants to spend some nights with you. They want to spend the mornings with you. You know, and I feel like they don't feel like you're on the same page. So it, it's kind of like they're holding back. I mean, we have the four swords. I feel like this person is really overthinking the shit out of this. You know, and I feel like they've been hurt before. But the only difference here being, you know, I, I mean, it's causing a lot of anxiety. You know, we got that nine of swords, late nights, not being able to sleep because they, they think about only you. They want to be with you, but they want to be with you in the long term, not the short term. I mean, this person isn't looking for another one night stand. And, and there is a point where this person feels like you may be too good to be true. Like, yeah. I mean, they're, I mean, we have that internal struggle. Like I said, this person's looking to build a foundation. And they, they have a hard time believing that you want to build a foundation with them. You know, because of the fact that they're so drawn to you. A lot of times people get so confused. Like, you, you feel drawn to someone. And it's almost like, 
I want this person so bad that it can't be real. You know, I, that person that I want can't possibly be the person that I end up with. And that's what that is, is, is a lifetime of being with the wrong people, giving to the wrong people, giving to the wrong, you know, energies. You know, and so many times we get burned for giving to the wrong person. We get hurt. And the last thing this person wants to do is get hurt. I mean, that's what they're thinking about. It's it's kind of a self-preservation type energy uh, with that three of swords, you know, that heartbreak. I mean, they see the potential here just as much as you do. This person that you want wants you. But like I said, they, they want something they feel like you can't give them or that you won't want to give them. But they're not trusting their intuition. You know, and now I I do see this person seeing things in a different perspective and I feel like things are going to change. And I feel like it's going to kind of change in a moment feeling like they're not taking advantage of opportunities that are in front of them. You know, we get that magician and then we let it up with that you know, not taking advantage of the opportunities in front of them, you know, is certain, they're starting to see a different side of this and realizing that if they don't step up, if they don't go for this, they're going to regret it. You know, feeling like they may, they could possibly be wrong. You know, they feel like they could possibly be wrong about you and they don't want to leave that up to, to chance. They don't want to leave that up to, you know, them overthinking this. So I do see things changing. You know, I, I do see this person finally stepping up because like I said before, they feel a deep connection with you. They just, their, their biggest fear is that it's one-sided. But they also know that it's still there for them. So I do see them taking that leap of faith and, and, and going on this, you know, beginning of this journey with that fool card. And for that, like I said, I, I mean, we have, I see this person opening up communication with you, like I said, and I feel like it's going to be the best communication they ever, they ever had, you know, realizing that they're not alone. You know, so many of us, we, we spend so much time alone. And even when you're in certain relationships, you feel alone. You know, I feel like everybody's been in a relationship where even though you're with someone, you still felt lonely. And they're sick of being lonely. And they, I feel like they've always kind of chased the things that were wrong for them. But the thing that there was right for them, you know, that's what they've been hesitant about. But seeing things, realizing that, seeing things in a different perspective and realizing that they may be, they may be possibly making the biggest mistake of their life here is that what's going to cause this person to finally take that leap of faith. You know, open up communication. And I feel like, like I said, I feel like there's going to be a lot of, a lot of good things coming out of this communication you know and i feel like it's not only that but them being honest with you you know i i feel like it's going to make this bond even stronger you know we got that two of cups that that lifelong bond and then we have that that strength card you know all about loyalty and honesty and, and we can't be honest until we start you know the first step in honesty is a big one, but it's the most important as well. You know, in order to be, you know, in order to get honesty, we got to be honest. And when we're honest, no one ever can take that away from us. Like I said, this connection is much deeper than either one of you realize. And that's because, you know, because... Like I said, you get that defensive energy from this person feeling like they're maybe not that interested or maybe they're not as interested as you you are. Um, but that's not the case at all. I mean, like I said before, we have that lover's card. You know, a connection that brings two people together. And, and it can only be, you know, we can only discover it when we actually take that chance. You know, think of it as a you know, think of it as a cave. You know, you can stand at the edge of the cave 
and you can kind of look in and see what you can see. But until you get that torch and go on an exploration, you're never going to see what, what, it re what it really leads to, what's really in there. You know, a lot of people, they stop at that, that cave entrance because they think, oh, it's scary. You know? and, and I don't mean like a, a literal cave. I just mean like somewhere that you can't see into. You actually have to walk into to see what's going on. You, you light your torch, you walk in and you discover. You know, and I feel like, like I said, once that happens, I mean, I, a lot of happiness a lot of emotional fulfillment. And, and I mean, it, like I said, it, 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 this, this relationship doesn't lack the physical. It never did. And it never will. What it lacked was someone acknowledging the emotional. And like I said, this person may feel like, I feel like that's what's holding them back, feeling like you wouldn't want the same thing from them. You know, and, and some people see someone so special and their biggest fear is, is getting even closer to that person and then losing them. And like I said, with the cave, I mean, you can stand on the outside and you'll never know what's inside, but it'll bug you, it'll haunt you, especially when you feel a certain pull like this. Now with this person, I mean, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we have Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. But that's the thing. Everything you ever wanted is on the other side of fear. That was one of my favorite quotes as a kid. Um, because it's so true. You know, a lot of things. When I was a kid, not that this is relevant really, but... When I was a kid, I remember that we there was this place that we used to go swimming all the time. And it had this big diving board, I think it was 50 foot. And I remember there was a few times I walked all the way up, the, climbed all the way up that ladder, got to the edge and looked down and just didn't do it. You know, fear of all the things that bad that could happen. Then one time it came and I said, screw it. And I took that jump. And I'm telling you, it was a rush. It felt great. And I, I probably did it 10 more times that day. But I would have never have known that if I didn't take that jump. I was missing out. You know, and, it, and it's, it's kind of relevant, but it's just an example of th those type of things. Like, you know, learning to ride your bike for the first time. Yeah, it seems scary. But once you get going, it's a hell of a good time. <laughs> You know, and so many times in life, we, we stop ourselves by fear. And sometimes fear is a good thing. I'm not saying everything you're afraid of you should do. But if there's something... The reason I brought up the diving story is because something in me kept getting me to climb up there. I wanted to do it. The fear was stopping me. If you want to do it, don't let fear stop you is the point. Because like I said, I mean, that quote, I remember reading that when I was a kid, that everything you want is on the other side of fear. And it, it, it holds true, and it always did. Just because you're scared, you're, you're scared of something doesn't mean it should stop you. And most times it means it shouldn't stop you. But, I mean, with this person, I, they just felt like, you're too good to be true. They felt like they couldn't have everything they wanted and want. And that's the problem when, when you do meet someone very special. It's like you feel like this person has everything you want. So it couldn't possibly work. It's because of years of getting not what you wanted and not working. You know, don't let yesterday hold you back from tomorrow. That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.